Hey guys, so as you may have seen, Natasha Denona recently launched an all matte palette called the Safari Palette. I have loved some of Natasha Denona's palettes. I purchased the Sunset Palette, the Star Palette, the Green Brown Palette, and one of like the five shadow single palettes, and I adore them. My favorites personally are her mattes. So I was so excited that she came out with an all matte palette, but unfortunately $129 was just not in the budget. So I decided to look through my collection of single shadows and create a Natasha Denona Safari dupe palette, which is what this is right here. So if you guys are curious to see swatches of my dupes compared to hers and find out what shadows these are, then just keep watching. Okay, so I don't physically have the palette, as I mentioned, but I went online, I read the descriptions of every single shade on the Natasha Denona website. I also looked at swatches from Trend Moods paid, page and other swatch pages to kind of find something that was as close as possible. And there were two shades that I could not dupe no matter what I did. I looked through every single palette I had and it were these two. I could not find dupes for her palette for these two shades. This one was a really nice, like, rusty, orangey red shade and this one was I believe they called it like a terracotta shade and I did not have anything those colors so the rest I feel like are pretty spot on but these two I kind of had to improvise with similar shades so let's dive right in the first one they described as like a light pinky peach matte shade and this is cutie pie from Luxie Beauty I do have a discount code down below for 10% off all Luxy Beauty products. That is not why I'm using it though. I just personally love their shadows. So here is Cutie Pie. This is the dupe for the first Natasha Denona shade. The next one was, des was described as like a navy blue with like gray undertones. This one is Navy Baby from Coastal Scents. Link for these shadows is also down below. And this one is $1.99. I should have mentioned Luxie is $5, so $4.50 with a discount. Coastal Scents, which make amazing shimmer shades. Some of their mattes are okay, they're hit or miss. They are $1.99. Links for both are down below as always. Next up was a gray green, and this one is Enchanted Forest from Makeup Geek. I believe these are also five or six dollars a piece. I do not have a link for those. Next was described as a pale gray. This is Throw in Shade from Luxi Beauty. That's L O O X I. Next was described as like an olivey camel color. This is Pistachio, also from Luxi Beauty. The reason I do these dupe palette videos is because I can't justify spending $100, $200 every time a new palette comes out. So I want to get use of the colors that I have in my collection. So I'm not claiming to be a Natasha Denona expert or say that these are the exact same shades she has, exact same formula. I'm just trying to make use of what I have and not spending the extra money so that I can come up with similar looks from the similar shades that I have already in my collection. The look I'm wearing today is from my Safari Dupe palette. Alright, so that's the whole first row of shades. We have the baby pink, the blue, the gray green, gray, and the kind of olivey shade. Second row is described as a matte peach. This is Sorbet from Luxie Beauty. And I believe that Chickadee from Makeup Geek is also a very similar shade. You can see that this one's more pink, this one is more peach. Next was the one that I could not find an exact dupe for. This was the one that was supposed to be like a rusty shade. This is Spice from Morphe. It's honestly the closest thing that I could find to like a rusty orange. Next was described as a peach matte. This is Harvest Moon, also from Luxie Beauty. bit more orangey than this peach and more orange than this pink. Next was described as I believe a deep brown with reddish undertones and this is Chicory from Luxy Beauty. I mean these swatch so well. Next 
Next was described as a bright tangerine. This is dark mango from Coastal Scents. Pretty much spot on. So here is the second row. Moving on to the third, they describe this as a muted light pink. And this one is cashmere from Luxy Beauty. It's like a pink with like a hint of coolness to it. Next was the one that I could not find an exact match for. This one was supposed to be like a terracotta, a muted terracotta shade, and this one is pretty as a peach from Luxie. Next was a muted berry matte shade. This one is Raisin Hell from Luxie Beauty. Next was described as a deep matte Merlot color. This one is Heartbreaker, also from Luxie Beauty. Almost matches the shade of my nails. And finally, they had a camel beige color, and this is Honey Bun, also from Luxie Beauty. They just make some really good shadows. So here are all the matte shades in my Natasha Denona dupe palette. I feel like a lot of them look exactly like the swatches that I've seen. As I mentioned, I don't have it physically here to compare to, but I will do a close up of my swatches and then I will put swatches of her palette up over here so you can see them. So here are my swatches. And then here are her swatches. So I feel like I came pretty close even if they aren't spot on on all the colors. I still feel like I'm going to come up with some very interesting and similar looks using these shadows. As I mentioned, I am wearing this palette today. I have this one up here in my crease followed by this shade then on the outer corner I have this Merlot color and this deep green from Makeup Geek and that's oh and then this muted pink on the inner portions of my lid and that's all I did and I love this like smoky romantic pink and green look that I came up with it was really easy to create I have no complaints so I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY palette video. Let me know if there are any other palettes that you would like me to come up with DIY or dupe palettes for. I love doing them. I love getting better use of my single shadows that are often forgotten and left in a drawer. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.